I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. At this moment, Donald Trump becomes chief executive of the world's largest corporation. Help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. He said he would run the United States as a business, and from this day, he heads a staff of nearly three million civilians and one and a half million members of the armed services. In his first speech as President Donald Trump, his tone was dark, his criticism of the Washington elite sharing the platform blunt. For too long, a small group in our nation's capital has reaped the rewards of government while the people have borne the cost. And presented to the people the vision of a nation looking inwards rather than out. From this day forward, a new vision will govern our land. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Earlier in the day, the outgoing president left a note in the Oval Office for his successor. The era of Barack Obama ends as that of Donald Trump begins. One of his first actions as president an executive order on the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, this having little immediate impact and regarded as more a statement of his intent to begin the complicated process of repealing it. This followed the inaugural parade through the streets of Washington, the crowds thinner than in inaugurations of the past and some lining the route brandishing anti-Trump placards, but seemingly unnoticed by the president who decided to walk part of the way. The route taking him past one of the hotels bearing his name, the staff loyally waving from the steps. As always, the day ends with a number of inaugural balls in the capital. But the divisive election and subsequent bitter debate has left its mark. And this year, there seems to be something lacking. Perhaps that sense of national joy on a day that in the past, the bulk of Americans would set aside their political differences and celebrate not just a new president, but also the democratic process that brought him to power. The beginning of a presidential term is for Donald Trump the end of an extraordinary journey. In his own words, he says, the key to the way I promote is bravado. The bravado is as evident now as it was at the beginning of his long campaign. And whether or not it's tempered by the office, he's likely to continue doing things his way. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.